So I actually have two illnesses that are confirmed at the moment, and those are autoimmune encephalitis and Sjogren's. We don't know exactly what type of autoimmune encephalitis I have, but we know that there's inflammation in my brain causing a lot of the neurocognitive issues that I've been having for the past eight months. Um, I was diagnosed in March by Dr. Chetta at the Center for Complex Disease. And to be honest, she's the only doctor who ever was willing to like dig into my case and actually try to find some things that were wrong. And I'm really glad that I went to her because she did end up finding that I had a lot more wrong with me than just chronic fatigue syndrome. So with my particular illness, um, I don't exactly get a lot of pain, but when I do, it's usually numbness and tingling in the legs, kind of like a, an electric shock-like feeling. It's a little hard to explain, but that's probably my worst pain. But like I said, pain's not exactly the biggest issue for me. It's more the cognitive issues. Symptom? Oh, dude. By f oh, fuck. Well, I was going to say the brain fog, but it's not exactly brain fog it's like much more than that when i'm in a flare it's complete like derealization i feel like i'm in a really vivid dream and it's really disabling like i forget how to walk and shit and i it's just bad you know so that's probably probably my worst most debilitating symptom and then obviously the fatigue so if I had to pick one trigger that really sets me off and causes a flare, it would probably be either fluorescent lights or really cold weather. Something about the cold really just causes me pain everywhere and just makes my joints ache and everything. And when I'm under fluorescent lighting, I start getting really bad like panic attacks, derealization, brain fog, vision issues, all, all, all kinds of shit like that. I'd say... Without a doubt, my biggest support is probably my mom. She has been there for me like throughout this whole thing. When I couldn't drive, she was taking me to appointments, doing all kinds of stuff for me, making sure I had everything I need. I can't thank her enough for everything that she's done. Sorry about that. I just got a text. <laughs> but yeah, my mom has definitely been 100% there for me. So two tests that I would definitely recommend are the early Sjogren's panel and the Quest autoimmune neurology panel. Both of those are what were the most telling for me in my own case. Um, basically, they found that I had SP1 antibodies, ACHR antibodies, myelin antibodies, and um, NMDA receptor antibodies, which is what led us to the autoimmune encephalitis and Sjogren's diagnosis. So definitely recommend those two.